Hi everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. When iOS 16 was released last year, Apple surprised many users with major improvements and changes to the lock screen. These included new wallpaper options and more personalization options, like emoji, weather, and so on. However, one glaring omission was live wallpaper support. Thankfully, Apple addressed this issue in iOS 17, and live wallpapers are now back. You can even create your own dynamic wallpapers on your iPhone. If you're wondering how to enable these dynamic backgrounds, or if you're having trouble setting them up, you're in the right place. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if this video is helpful to you. Part 1. How to enable live wallpapers in iOS 17 The models that support iOS 17 are as follows. Now we use iPhone 13 Pro to demonstrate. In order to create the live wallpaper, I took a few random pictures with my phone. Wow, this picture looks stunning. When taking pictures, remember to click on the upper right corner to select the real-time option, which will capture about two and a half seconds of motion. Okay, now we click the share button in the lower left corner, then click use wallpaper to add real-time animation to the lock screen. You can see a little switch in the lower right corner. Click on it, and you will stop the autoplay. OK, now I press the power key to turn off the screen. Then turn it on again, and it will play automatically. This effect is really good. You can also enable this feature in the settings. Swipe down and select wallpapers. Add a new wallpaper. Then select a photo. So easy, right? But sometimes, I find live wallpapers not working. Why my iPhone shows motion is not available. And how to fix live wallpaper not working on iOS 17. Keep watching. Part 2. Check your iPhone model. It is worth noting that only iPhone models that support 3D touch or haptic touch can use live wallpapers. If you have an older iPhone model, you will not be able to use live wallpapers. Apparently, my phone model supports live wallpaper. Part 3. Turn off the reduce motion mode. You may not know that reducing motion mode disables the live wallpaper, so let's turn it off. Tap accessibility, tap motion, then turn off the first green button. Part 4. Fix live wallpapers not working with Ray Boot. If you have tried all of the above and your live wallpaper is still not working, it may be the iOS bugs so you'll need a powerful tool to eliminate them. Here I use Tenorshare Rayboot. If it's just a common live wallpaper bug, you can use the standard repair function to help you reduce the occurrence of bugs. The standard repair can fix more than 150 system issues. But if the bug is actually serious and affects your personal use, you can choose to return to the old version or wait for Apple solve bugs. And it usually takes a long time for Apple to solve bugs so downgrading is a better way. The downgrade process may lose your important data, so make a backup before starting. Then connect your iPhone to your computer. Did you see this upgrade and downgrade section? Let's click on it and select downgrade. Wait patiently for iOS 16 firmware download. Once done, click the initiating downgrade option. Next, don't move your phone. You can go grab a cup of coffee. When you come back, you will find that your phone has returned to the iOS 16 interface. After the downgrade is complete, you'll need to set up your iPhone again. If you have a backup on iCloud, you can restore it here. If you don't, just keep set up till you get to the home page. Good job, now your iPhone has come back to iOS 16. That's it. Subscribe to us if it helps. Don't forget to share videos with your friends. See you in the next video.